Amanda, you have a lot of hair. Oh my God. How do you put it in a bun? Good morning. I'm gonna show you. I got a brush and I have one of these like boar bristle brushes. Literally only two things you need and some hairspray. I hate this hairspray. I really like just the regular, I think it's, I'll insert a picture right here. You can also use gel. They sell the got to be glued gel when you get to boot camp and that stuff's really good. It really lays everything down in place. The only thing, the only gripe that I have about it, ugh, don't you hate when you have to like, if you have curly hair or wavy hair, don't you hate when you have to like brush it out? Yeah, it's the worst. I don't like the got to be glued stuff anymore just because it doesn't give your hair a lot of freedom. So I find that uh, I was starting to go bald and also it's just really dry for your hair. All right, so I just applied water and then you're gonna obviously find a part that <laughs> does make you look like an idiot. I remember the first day I did my bun, I had a I had a side shave, which is still trying to grow itself out. My part was literally like on the side of my head. So typically I have a little spray bottle to spray all of that, but since I'm not at home, I don't have any of that. But it's okay. One thing I find about wetting your brush, it doesn't really dry. So if you can manage to get a, a spray bottle, that'll really save your life a lot. And I know for me, when I was in boot camp, my RDC was really big on making sure that you had no hairs out of place. He was a greenside corman, which those Corman are the corman that work with the Marines, hence why they're called Greenside. But uh, so he was very used to having hairs in place. And I personally do think having a nice bun is important just because you look put together. I know there's gonna be people. Why should my butt matter? It's just like having a nice hairdo. When you when your hair is nice, you feel nice. As you can see, it doesn't really take no time at all. Wetting your hair is very important when it comes to doing your bun when you're in boot camp, and especially during the summer, your hair's never going to dry. So just you know, learn how to deal with having mildewy hair, and then just make sure you do really good treatments to it afterwards. And also, so with that being said, no, there are no blow dryers in boot camp. You can't wear your hair down. It has to be in a bun. They are not going to cut your hair. I get a lot of people asking me, oh my God, are they gonna cut my hair? No, they won't. But if you don't know how to do your bun, they will suggest you cut your hair and sometimes they will make you go cut your hair. Also, if you have like highlighted pieces like this, it's not as prominent as it once was because it's no longer summer, but if your hair is not the same color as the top part and they see it, they will make you dye your hair. Like if you have highlights, you, you will have to dye your hair. No questions, no questions asked. So I had a couple people in my division who had bleach blonde hair and were made to dye their hair. So now literally all I'm using is a hair tie to obviously put it in a ponytail. You can use one of those sock bun things, but I have too much hair. And then you're gonna be like, whoa, why does it look weird? Well, because you don't know what you're doing. <sighs> One thing that I find when you start doing your hair more often and let's say you don't wash it. Okay, I just broke this. You don't want to wash your hair every single day, especially in boot camp, just because your hair never dries. And it might feel a lot better to wash your hair every day. Don't do it. Just don't. You don't have enough time for that. Once you've done that, I just like to brush over to make sure I get any stray dogs in to its proper spot. Now, it, I don't like when it does this like weird little like hair thingy, so what I sometimes will do is I'll like 
take it out and redo it again, but I don't have time for that. I know a lot of people like to lay down their edges. I had a few people in boot camp that did that, so I guess you could get away with it, but sometimes your RDCs will be assholes and not let you do those fun little things. Also, you are able to do braids and twists, and now literally all I do is just twist. And then as I'm going around, I'll twist again. And just keep there you go and then from there I use another hair tie um, I used to use little bobby pins which really help especially in boot camp because you're running a lot and you need to make sure that your hair stays in place all day also my bun is crooked oh my god my bun is sideways oh great okay I don't have time for this Okay, one more time. So you can braid your ponytail first before you twist it. Which I find helps a lot when you have um, long hair layers it helps the bun stay in place a lot more um so that can really help your bun but yeah you can braid it and then again i'm telling you the bobby pins with the wide opening really 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 will be your lifesaver in boot camp just because you don't want to draw any attention with your hair and i'm telling you practice makes perfect because I could not get this like sleek down look. You know, you do it for a kajillion days while you're in boot camp and then just spray the shit out of your hair, I'm telling you. Also, if I'm not like super like Bleh! I haven't had any caffeine and I need some. Also, if you leave your sink like this at home or in boot camp, you're a disgusting human being. I'm just, I'm not even gonna lie to you. You're disgusting. Make sure you clean that shit out. Start now, I'm telling you. And if you do that in the shower, like if you just leave your hair on the shower wall, you're disgusting. Like, what? As you can see, that literally took me maybe 10 minutes. But make sure you guys look up the hair regulations before you go in, just because, you know, sometimes, you know, you'll try to do fun things, like a double twist, and then be like, recruit. Those are out of regs. You can't wear those. And then you have to redo your whole hair. I know they have updated a lot of the instructions. Just make sure you guys are looking that stuff up. If you guys did like this video and found this like somewhat helpful, then yeah, give it a thumbs up. Also, don't stress out if you guys are looking to go to any military branch. But yeah, that's it. I'm signing off, doing out. Okay, bye.